There are lots of rich people in the world. They have everything in the life. The money, the wealth, houses and cars, families, everything they have. But they have no peace. Even though they are living in a very secured house or palace, and even though they have maybe more than 20 security guards to protect them, but one night, that rich person, he killed himself. Nobody entered his house to kill him, but his hearts killed him because he has heart, which was a dead heart. And all the dead heart are those hearts which has no remembrance of Allah. If you keep on pumping heart physically without remembering Allah, then your heart is deteriorating. Your heart is going towards destruction. Every moment of your life, your heart is beating, but not remembering Allah. Who is let this heart to beat? One day your heart will be spiritually dead. And when it's happened, you don't like to live anymore. Your money, your wealth, your families, your uh, resources, your palaces, your cars will not give you happiness anymore. You feel empty. You feel useless yourself. You feel you are nothing anymore because your heart is now becoming a dead heart. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu explained and also in the Quran, the heart which remembers Allah, it is a live heart. And the heart which doesn't remember Allah, it's explained by the Prophet, that heart is a dead heart. So when I ask people, what is the biggest problem for the human being? The most of the people, they answer the poverty. If you are poor, that's the biggest problem. And I say no. If the poverty is the biggest problem, then most of the people make suicide, they should be the poor. But it is not the case. The most of the people make suicide are the rich people. And they are belong to the rich countries. Even how much you are poor. Maybe you don't have enough food for your family. You don't have the enough uh, good place to leave your family. You don't have the enough clothes, a new clothes or very old clothes you have. Regardless of this condition of poverty, you can sleep at night. You can be happy even you don't have enough food, lack of food, but you are happy. Then you are not depression. Even though you are poor, not enough food, no enough clothes, no enough, not good place to live, but you are still happy. And the most of the rich people, the poor people, many of the poor people, they don't get depression. Because they are busy with, they are struggling to get rid of their poverty. So they are busy, they are working all day. When they come home, they are tired. They eat and they sleep. But the rich people, they have no worry about their financial problems. They have lots of money. They are, they are free. Their mind is free. And when the mind is free, you think a lot and you fall in depression. So be yourself to remember Allah. Not just five times a prayer. After Fajr, remember Allah. Whole day, remember Allah. Allah said in the Quran, الَّذِينَ يَذْكُرُونَ اللَّهَ قِيَامًا وَقُعُودًا وَعَلَىٰ جُنُوبِهِمْ وَيَتَفَكُرُونَ فِي قَلْقِ سَمَّوَاتِ الْأَرْضِ سُبْحَانَكَ فَقِنَا عَذَابَ النَّارُ Allah said, those who are remembering Allah is standing, sitting down, and lying down on their sides. So you have a peace of heart. You will not fall in depression. You will not be, have anxiety. If you are not going to get this peace through the remembrance of Allah, then you can do what you like in the world. And I said earlier, remembrance of Allah, praying five times a day, doing fasting. One of the best remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Prophet Muhammad sallam said, Afdalu dhikru, la ilaha illallah. The best of the remembrance of Allah is, la ilaha illallah. If you can do it in a day, when you wake up until night, you can remember, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah. No need to talk something nonsense. Rather than you make gossiping or backbiting and doing some bad words and just wasting the time. Try to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whole your day. Saying la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah. While you're driving, say la ilaha illallah. Read Surah Fatiha, read Surah Ikhlas, read Ayatul Kursi. When you're going back home, you remember Allah. You're working in a factory. While you're working, remember Allah. Don't waste your time because it is for next life. Whatever you do good, it will go to you in your next life. And that will be your benefit in the next life. All the do good for the sake of Allah and we need the reward for that in the next life. This life is temporary. It will finish. Even in hardship or even in easiness, it's going to finish. But the next life, sa kabilang buhay, walang hanggang. The next life is forever. Even for millions of years, our next life will not finish. So we're not going to waste our time, rather to utilize our time to make preparation for our next life. May Allah guide us. Amin. Alhamdulillah. Rabbil Alameen.